Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Show. Today we are doing an anime review and this anime, uh, I know somebody's gonna judge me for watching this, but pretty much can you watch a single anime that isn't weird or has something that's gonna raise an eyebrow? Sometimes, you know, there's shows with like too much fan service. Sometimes there's like weird plot threads that really just ruin your shows. Sometimes there's like a weird bath scene or something in your otherwise totally normal show. And then everyone you show that show to thinks you're weird. And sometimes that weird thing is that it's about lesbian sisters. Today we're reviewing Citrus. So yeah, Citrus is about a girl who's entering a new school and then she suddenly develops a relationship with this other girl who she is also happens to be sisters with, stepsisters, of course stepsisters. And so after, you know, not liking this girl and, you know, forming this kind of like budding relationship with her, she suddenly, you know, falls in love with her. And so the, over the course of the series we see this relationship have its ups and downs. There's a lot of other characters who get in the mix and there are friend characters. We basically try to see this relationship through despite the hurdles of them being women and sisters and and the fact that one of them is this like very uppity like I'm going to do the right thing and work for his school council and the other one is I'm just trying to have fun I wear makeup to school when nobody else does and all these things and I will say the only reason I watched this show was because I was really fucking sick and I didn't think I was coherent enough to really watch like good material like if you're sick I'm not trying to watch like Gurren Lagann or like a show that like is really important so I waited on Gurren Lagann. I watched it fucking citrus to get over my sickness and you know what it was worth a watch. This show does nothing really like special it doesn't like break any barriers and I'm sure like there's a bunch of 14 year olds who really enjoy it but for me personally, I just thought it was just another show. It was just another romance. The only like big problem with this show I had was that when it introduced certain characters. For instance, there's this character with pink hair and headphones. I love her design, but this character got the entire show fucked up. Like literally the show was like just walking its normal course and then BAM! It's suddenly on its back. We don't know what's going on. The plot's fucked up. I, I get that this re relationship between these two girls really like needs time to develop and has a lot of issues to get through but I felt like this show could have ended at any episode. We could have just spent 15 minutes being like, oh, they're together now. Roll credits. And I feel like that's kind of how it was handled. I really think that these characters, like, as likable as they were, there was a lot of moments where I was just frustrated with them, with their choices, with their attitudes towards one another, and all of this, like, doesn't lead up to this great payoff. Like, there are a lot of, like, sex scenes teased in the show, and there are a lot of making out scenes. There are, like, a lot of scenes like that. But, like, at the end of the show, it's like, you've already kind of seen all that, so it doesn't, like, pay you off with, like, uh, a rewarding r romance scene. I'm trying to tiptoe my words here. But, it, I don't know what to do. It's kind of just like, oh, well, that's the relationship, it's done, and we're gonna roll credits. I just felt like I needed more. I needed this relationship to kind of, like, reach a new level on not just terms of them like having sex but I need their status like they need to be like a public relationship they need to do something in order for me to get more invested in and apart from the dark haired girl I think I liked everyone's character designs I just felt like there was her and maybe like uh, a couple of her friends who had like very boring character designs that being said though this show had attention to details in some places like for instance I really like this school that it takes place in I think it is very important in shows and just you know 
media in general for you to really have an understanding of the layout and the landscape. And I felt like I knew, like I could walk around these schools because I knew like that's where the stairs are, that's where this is, that's where this is. I think that's super important and not necessary for a show like this at all, but it's an added touch. You really get in the headspaces of the characters once you kind of know like what is their daily routine. What is the place that they're supposed to be in when they're at school? What do these places look like? Who is usually there? You kind of know, like, everything that this character does on a day-to-day -day operation. But yeah, the show is just kind of like a Yuri Beatty kind of... So this is just... So I don't think that much of the show is just kind of a Yuri Beatty romance. This romance didn't have to be Yuri to get where it is. Uh, it's basically like the, oh my god, but you're my sister, the anime. Like, there's not much else to it. I don't think I had, like, any big problems with it. I still like the show. It's just, I was just very meh with my experience. After watching, like, five episodes, I was still... By the time I watched 12 episodes in the same place, where I was just kind of like, okay, this is an alright show, okay, that's a weird sexual angle they're going for, okay, now they're fighting, they're gonna fight for like two episodes and act like they're not gonna get, each get with each other in the last episode, even though I know that's what's gonna happen, okay, now we got like three other people and it's like a love triangle hectagon shaped thing. Okay. And then it's like, yep, oh, the, the last episode. Okay. So anyway, those were my thoughts on Citrus. I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. And until next time, with that, I leave you.